Hey, what is up guys, you're watching the ITKHQ and today we're going to be taking a look at top 15 best iOS 8.4 compatible Cydia tweaks. The very first one is going to be Eclipse 2.0. As you guys can see, I've got black background and white text. This is essentially night mode throughout the operating system. So if I go to notes, you guys can see the same story over here as well. This is, this is Eclipse 2.0 and it's a very, very nice tweak. Next up here, I've got Spring to Mind 3.0. As you guys can see, I've got eight icons on the dock. Also, I don't have any labels as well. And this is D2, this tweak right there, Spring to my 3.0. So as you guys can see, you can go over here, is the settings panel, and I can go to status bar, for example, and I can just go ahead and hide the time, maybe. So uh, there you go. So there's no longer, there's no time over there. And there you go, we have got the time again. So you can do a lot of things like such. And this is basically Spring to Mice 3.0. It is my favorite tweak. So just go and check it out. The next one I've got is Type Status. Now Type Status essentially uh, tells you when the other person is typing. So basically, I will go ahead and send myself a message. I'll say hi. There you go. Or I can just say hey. I can just go and ignore this and as you guys can see it says typing so basically the other person is typing so wherever I am maybe in Safari I will get this notification right there that the other person is typing now when I send this um, so let's just say I send this and that's gonna go away so this is type status it's a free tweak it's a very nice tweak next we'll be taking a look at sleep FX Sleep effects basically gives you different sleep effects. So when you put the device to sleep, that is. So as you can see, we have got sleep effects menu right there. You can select different effects from here as well. So I'm gonna go for maybe TV tube. So if I go, as you can see, this is the new effect. So if I put my device to sleep, I get a different effect. Let's just go back. We'll be taking a look at, maybe let's go for spin. So there you go. So this is, um, sleep effects, it's a very nice tweak. Next I've got mini player. Now mini player basically gives you this widget right here. It's a very tiny widget, mini widget you guys can say that. And you can just go ahead and position it anywhere you want. And then you can also just hide it. And basically you can access your music from here. So as you guys can see I can go ahead now access and just control this music directly from this mini widget right here. It's actually very cool. Alright, the next tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be Smart Tap. So basically, I can just tap, and there you go, it opens the screen up. And similarly, I can tap again, and it's going to close the app. I'll uh, close my iPad. So and now this is this actually this tweak is going to affect your battery life as well because it keeps the digitizer open. So yeah, that's the re that's the only downside to this app and this tweak. But it's actually it's very cool. All right, next we'll take a look at. Uh, alkaline. Now, alkaline just gives you this different battery icon. As you guys can see, I've got a different uh, battery icon, and you can just go ahead and change these if you want. So we can go over to settings, and then we can just go over to alkaline. Where is it? Where is it? And there you go. And we have got about three themes, or three um, effects right here. So we have bolus, habisha, and spots. So I've got the first one running, and this is how it looks. So this is Alkaline, very neat tweak. All right, the next one is going to be Tage. Now Tage is a very popular tweak, basically, and it's just about multi-touch gestures, and it's actually very cool. So I can just go ahead and uh, just swipe uh, up from here. It's going to open up Control Center. If I do it from here, it's going to open up App Switcher. And for example, if I'm over here, I can just switch between apps just by swiping with one finger. So this is very, very nice tweak. All right, next we have got Apex 2.0. Now Apex 2.0 allows you to have um, different apps basically behind one app. So as you guys can see, uh, I've got camera right here and when I swipe down, here's another app which is related to camera, that is YouTube. So as you guys can see, I can just swipe and we have got add buttons all around and I can just go ahead and add any app. So we've got um, all apps over here and I can, for example, I will select mail. So now 
when I swipe down, I've got mail over here as well. So this is just one way of uh, organizing all of your apps. All right, next we have got WePower. Now WePower basically gives you a lot of options. So basically when you tap and, uh, well, when you just long press the power button, it not only gives you the ability to power off your device, but also gives you the ability to reboot your device or respring your device. So this is a very neat little tweak known as Repower. And then we have got Untethered Hey Siri. Well, Untethered Hey Siri allows you to invoke Siri by just saying the hot word Hey Siri. So as you guys can see, just did that. So let's do it again. Hey Siri. Now this uh, combined with Apple Music integration is actually a very nice combo. Next we have got Power Saver mode. So when you go to settings and you go to you have a new option over here and that is battery and we have the power saving mode as well. This is just like in iOS 9 you can just go and turn it off if you want or you can just go ahead and keep it open and if when you open it up you guys can see we have a different uh, battery icons like quite a different color and then we have got all the modeling details over here as well. So this is uh, power saving mode now in iOS 8.4. All right, next we have got alternate controls. Now alternate controls essentially allows you to have Android controls basically. So if I swipe up, you guys can see we have got the home button, the app switcher button, and then the back button. So I can go over here, press this, and it's going to take me to the app switcher. I can press this, it's going to take me back to my home screen. I can do this, it's going to take me to my previous or my last app that I opened. Alright, next we have got advanced settings 8. So you can just invoke this by tapping on the settings icon. And as you guys can see, we have got a lot of options over here that you can, well, tweak uh, and just play around with. So as you guys can see, we have got the folders option. And if I go over there, we have allow nested folders, bench to close, and load one column at a time. So again, you can just um, play around with the animations so you can make them slow, make them go fast, whatnot. I can also go over to maybe app switcher and we've got a lot of animations, stiffness, damping, whatnot. So this is advanced settings and it's a free tweak. Go and check it out. Alright guys, so the last tweak is going to be tap to snap. Now tap to snap basically allows you to just tap inside uh, of the camera application anywhere basically on the screen to just capture the photo. So I'm here on my my camera app and I can just um, take photo just by tapping on the screen once. There you go. There you go. So that's it guys. Uh, that's all there is to it. So these are the top 15 best epic iOS 8.4 compatible Cedia tweaks. Alright guys, make sure you guys check out my website down below. Also if you guys want to know how to, how to jailbreak your device, I'll have all the links down below as well. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Peace out.